<laughs> it's a chant and someone that every child knows. And while most children are eager to meet Santa, it might be a different feeling for children with autism. And kids with autism are so very special. And Santa Claus should know because he's put smiles on their faces each year and helped them overcome any fear they may have. That all they have is love in their heart. They want to talk to people all the time. They want to hug people. Well, when Eliza met um, Santa for the first time, I did not know how she was going to react. But to Amy Darby's surprise, Eliza, who had autism, loved the Jolly Red Giant. She was like feeling his beard. She was like hugging him. She's the founder and president of the Eliza Hope Foundation, a nonprofit that helps children with autism. She and Santa have worked together for the last few years, making sure children with autism can happily celebrate with Santa. Some are scared, some are excited. It really depends. But Santa knows how to comfort them. Uh, talk to them and, and ask them their name and ask them what they do and what kind of toys they play with. And you kind of break the ice. You know? Whatever your child is most comfortable with, let's just go with that. and. You know, it'll be, it'll be okay. Now Santa is going to be here at the Eliza Hope Foundation to share holiday cheer with these children. And if you're a parent who has a child with autism, you can be a part of it. All you have to do is just sign up for the event. It's $25, but you get the entire Santa experience. We're going to have more information on this story on WTKR.com. In Virginia Beach, Julio Avila, News 3.